Good morning and welcome to our thought for the day. I want to read you two verses, please, from Proverbs chapter 23. And it's verse 17 and 18. And it says this, and these are incredible words. Let not thine heart envy sinners, but be thou in the fear of the Lord all the day long. For surely there is an end, and thine expectation shall not be cut off. The title I've given to my little thought today is simply this. Let's be zealous, not jealous for God. Let's be zealous, not jealous for God. You see, it's sad, but so often true that too often we would call ourselves Christians, find ourselves envious of the wealth that the sinner has. How sad that is. We look into the world and we say, how is it that they seem to have all this? How is it they seem to these cars, these homes, or whatever it may be? But I tell you, friends, our envy is totally wrong. Instead of considering, friends, the wealth that the sinner has, we need to consider the wealth that we have in Christ. We make a big, big mistake to envy that which the sinner has. Verse 17 and 18, I'll repeat it to you, says, Let not thine heart envy sinners, but be thou in the fear of the Lord all the day long, for surely there is an end, and thine expectation shall not be cast off. How foolish to envy the sinner, for their end is disaster. How foolish it is to envy the sinner with whatever they have. For their end is disaster. We need to seek God for a greater zeal to follow him. And as we do, we will realize that we who are the children of God, we are the children of the mighty God of creation, the children of the King of all kings and the Lord of all lords, and then consider all the wealth that is ours. You see, all the wealth of heaven is ours in Christ. All the wealth of heaven. And we cannot even imagine what that wealth is. We are able to worship, we are able to commune with our God all the day long. Communion with God, the God of this, of this world, the God of the universe. We are able to commune with him. No matter how long the day may seem, no matter what might take place in the, the day that lays ahead today, Jesus is with you. He is yours and you are his. Isn't that amazing to know that he's there? And the more friends of heaven we experience, the less of earth we will desire. What use is the prosperity of the wicked as he goes to a lost eternity? In 1 Timothy chapter 6 and verse 6, it says this, But godliness with contentment is great gain. Oh, I tell you, that's a verse that we should consider more often. Godliness with contentment is great gain. There are people that are filled with bitterness. There are people that is filled with envy and jealousy. And they, uh, God can take all that away and give them a contentment that this world can't even uh, understand. You see, the sinner is forever losing. But the saint in Christ is forever gaining. Remember that great promise in Hebrews chapter 3 and verse 5. It says this, be content with such things as he have. For he has said, I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee. God help us to be more zealous, not jealous, for we have Christ. And what more could we ever desire? God bless you. Think upon this thought today. Encourage yourself in the Lord and know the contentment that only comes through Christ. God bless you. I'll speak to you tomorrow.